All right, okay, I just noticed something. What's that? How are these blue class? No, they're supposed to be the hunt class. They're hunt class. What the heck? We've got a couple of bench mates here, guys. <laughs> We're finally taking a look at a mini Crooked River, which, as we've discussed in the past... It's not mini at all. It's not really mini. Well, it's, uh -uh. it's mini... These are still brand new. Brand new. It's mini compared to the full size, which is kind of huge. Yeah. We're this borrowing. This thing is way, way, way big. We're borrowing these from Brad. We're at the gun show. We're at the gun show parking lot. There. Can you guys get a size reference? Size comparison. Yeah. I it's think gonna it's gonna be that kind of video, huh? Okay. <laughs> I think it's a. I think it's a three and a half inch blade on the mini. I want to say three and a half inch. But yeah, I had never realized that. Blue class. You might as well throw it in to be tactical too. Yeah. I mean, come yeah. on. Blue, black, hunt, everything. But okay, here's here's the full size though. This one came out in 2016, and we got one in uh, we got one in on trade in 2016. Yep. And we ended up trading it because it was just I don't know maybe too huge. I like it. I like it. It's a good knife. Um, and then we got another one in on trade this year, and it already went out. What we, did we get for that? We. Traded, we gave it pretty much away. We gave it to Morgan, didn't no, we? No, not this one. No, no, oh, no. I thought we did. Okay. No, that was the um, I forget. Oh, it was that other hunt. One. This one we got. Well, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll think of it. I'll think of it. <laughs> it was that arc form. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah. yeah. Anyway, there's the mini finally taking a look at it. Like we say, it's basically a full size knife. It's crazy. If you've looked at the if you've looked at the original, it is kind of huge. What is the steel on these? S30? Yeah, S30V. Because we know that Benchmade has bought a lifetime supply of S30V. That is true, yeah. Lifetime yeah. supply. There's the orange backspacer. I love the color combo. Yeah, that you is pretty sweet. You wouldn't think that the color combo works on these knives, but I like it. Brown Anytime, and orange always looks good together. I guess so. Anytime you use orange, though, on an outdoor, like a Hunt series knife, it works, obviously. I don't know if I've said this before, but I, I just realized this um, recently. Deer cannot really distinguish orange. I know, isn't that crazy? So when you see, because I've always thought, like, wow, hunters wear orange. Like uh, neon orange. You know, that kind of takes away your camouflage. Not really. Not really. Yeah, Against deer, humans, it would. Deer is... Deers, plural, or deers. is it just deer? Uh, we're gonna sound stupid now. Oh, I don't whatever. know. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, um, we've traded two of these now, but don't let that um, take away from the knife. These are great knives. Yeah. These are great knives. It's a again, it's one of these giant bench maids that not only is it a very useful EDC and and tactical, not tactical, I guess so, <laughs> um, outdoors knife, capable outdoors knife is what I was gonna say, yeah. but. It's a fidget knife too, because it's a giant axis lock. Yeah, once you get them broken in. Yeah, these ones are brand new, so the, like any new uh, bench made, they... You gotta sit and play with it. Gotta sit and play with it, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, for all you uh, QC guys out there, there's the, <laughs> there's the centering. There's no blade play on this one. Is there any on that one? No, the centering's perfect on it too. Is it? Okay, good. No, we're good. All right. Yeah, but uh, it is a giant fidget knife once you get them broken in. See, I can't even swing it. And what do they call this wood color? It's almost like a Coco Bolo. Coco Bolo? Coco Bolo. I'm not sure. I'll have to look or it up. Like I'll probably. A uh, red wood. No, maybe not red. I'll put wood. it right here. Coco Bolo. If I figure it out. <laughs> yeah. No, I like these. Let me take a look at the mini, though. Okay, here. There you go. I'll make this one look even bigger. S30. There's that famous clip. What do you guys mm -hmm. think of the mini? I know uh, it was a it was a popular enough knife they had to make this version. I can two hand this. Nice. Ricky's got her stamp. Let's see it. It looks like blood. So we can get back in. We got the gun show. We're outside. It's straight that way. We actually got a good parking space despite getting a late start today. Yeah. Brad's in there. Uh, looks like he's doing well as usual. That's mm -hmm. uh, these are these are borrowed from Brad Revolver Tactical, and well, yeah, he's got he's the usual. He's kind of the only guy that has brand new good knives. So yeah, um, at this particular show, if if uh, anybody in the audience is at this show, it was kind of a sad turnout knife-wise. Well, speaking of the show, 
maybe we should mention who's in there, which is kind of crazy. Oh yeah, who's familiar? Uh, so it is a gun show, right? We go to the gun shows for knives these days, but <laughs> in inside there today is uh, Military Arms Channel. Yeah, that's crazy. He's Mac. Mac. I call him Mac. I, do, do they call him Mac? I don't even know what his first name his is. His name is Tim. Tim? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Actually, I think I did hear that. Yeah, his name Tim is Tim. from Military Arms Channel. He's nearly a million subscribers, probably one of the top, easily top 10 gun channels, um, maybe even top five. He's inside there today, and we got to talk to him. Mm -hmm. it, it had some good conversations about YouTube and... Uh, demonetization of gun channels and we yes. were telling them how you even had trouble with knife videos mm -hmm. um, just those politics of dancing politics of dancing uh, shouldn't get into it mm -hmm. on this video but nope. yeah it is it is annoying out there but uh, yeah same same color combo on this one fully ambidextrous like a lot of bench maids yeah okay you just reverse the clip and there you go there's that action there we go Oh, it's already breaking in. Hopefully Brad won't see this. I don't think he'll care that much. It's just, I mean, he's got them on the table. People are doing the same yeah, thing. Sure. People drop his knives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what was the last show? People were dropping, uh, I forget what they dropped. I think it, was, it might have been a Microtech. It was a, it was a full yeah. auto something. Yeah, yeah. It was bad. Anyway, speaking of Brad, I'll put links into where you can get these, but he's always got competitive prices. These Ooh, are going to be the that? same as anywhere you go. 187. 200. 187 on the mini, 200 on the full size. I, I mean, uh, USA made S30V. Yeah, they're worth it. Yeah, they're worth it. Well, and you can just just the color combo. You can just tell that they have well. It's just well designed and like nice style. Well too. constructed, well executed. Yeah, yeah, I love the orange pivot color. Is there a designer associated with these? I didn't think there was. Mm. Um, I it might just be an in-house collaboration. Might be Mr. Crooked River? Mr. Crooked River. Yes. Uh, Crooked E River. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but the Mini, here's what I feel like on the Mini. We could still own it, but it's not because we're going to buy it. Well, I would take this in on a trade. Yeah. But I don't, I feel like if we were, we've said this before with other knives, but I feel like if we were going to buy this, it would have happened already. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's just it us. Have. Yeah. Great knife. Huge knife. Very capable for a lot of people. Even, this is just, I mean, actually it is so much thinner too. Is it? Let me see. Yeah, it feels way better. S scale wise? Yeah. Here, see if we can get that side by side. It is, isn't it? There you go, yeah. I didn't even think about the, the handle being, uh, the scales being thinner. Yeah, it is. Huh. So it's just everything scaled down, isn't it? This is almost like a folding fixed blade. You know what I mean? A little bit, it's, yeah. It's big I can see like that. that. It's kind of designed as the yeah that I mean, style. It has a thick handle. I mean, there's the grind. Very good grind. Falls off the cliff there. Maximize the the edge itself with no useless choils. What knife are you carrying right now that we could compare it to size wise with a regular size knife? Um, I've got a Spider Co. It's in my other pocket though. Oh, okay. It's the Sage. What have you got? I have the Meerkat. Let's show that. <laughs> Frankie's got her tiny little meerkat. That's all we can really show you right now. But look at the difference of it. Yeah. It's crazy. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Well, put the put the big one out there. Oh, jeez. There you go. Yeah. You can fit him fully in the handle. Not to get off track, but that's like one knife where okay, the wire clip it's it's tipped down. I don't really care. Yeah, it's. And fine. you definitely don't care. Frankie doesn't care about clips. You may, as well as take them. you may as well take them off. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. I don't. Because I don't really wear them. Traditionally. Yeah, that's true. I really don't. He's got a creative bunch of ways you carry knives. <laughs> yes, I do. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> uh, this one's still breaking in. There's that clip. The Frankie, they're called split arrow clips. Yes, not a penis clip. Oh, not, you, no, you had to say it. Uh -huh. You had to say it. Well, you had to bring it up. So I had to say it's not that. There's the pivot collar. Yeah. I personally, I, I just, you know, just knowing knives the way we do over the years, it's just, I feel like these could sell for more. $200. These are good knives. They're yeah, good. they really yeah, are. Definitely like them. We just didn't hold on to them, um, mainly just because they're just bigger than I carry these uh -huh. days. But, yeah. Excellent choice if you've got them out there. Get one swing on them. Oh, gee, that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this, you know, it needs broken in. It needs breaking in. Yeah. yeah. It needs broken in? It needs broken in. But this night, this broken. video was supposed to be about the mini. Here you go. 
Well, it's to compare the two. Yeah. There, oh, it's starting to sound like a Benchmade too. Oh yeah, I heard the clackiness. Clack, hear the clack. Clickety clack. People are walking by, looking right at us, like, uh, "What are they doing? What are they doing?" It's just weird. We had a car sitting over there for when we when we came out to the car to film, and we had a car sitting over there. It was a BMW, and they just sat there for five minutes, like, "Well, they're probably leaving," and they just sat there, and it's like, "Ah, oh, sorry." Okay, I just saw this song that came up. It completely should just be like um, playing with myself, and it could be for benchmates because you're okay. just hanging out on the couch playing um, with yourself myself, yeah all right it works yeah. i think it should you guys do that too right benchmates are <laughs> half the reason you buy What's a bench made, do what half the reason you buy a bench made is to fondle it <laughs> so yeah playing with yourself all right these are great yeah it's starting to sound like a 940 even yeah excellent choice i imagine i've complained about s30v in the past but don't listen to me yeah i don't yeah you guys can, <laughs> you guys can join in too just <laughs> They bought a lifetime supply of S30. We'll probably start seeing Benchmade use S35 in like 10 years. <laughs> yeah. All right, I think that's everything. Yeah. We took kind of a break here. We can get back into the show. Yep, sounds good. All right, thanks a lot for joining us.